What is going on everybody today? I have a review of a power meter that is universally compatible, that is light, that is not crazy expensive, that is dual sided and actually gives out really good accurate data. Can this possibly be true? Yes it can. Should you buy it though? Let's find out. The unit in question is the Favero Asioma Duo Power Pedals. This is the second generation of power pedal from the Italians at Favero Electronics. In the box, you get a set of Asioma Duo pedals, a set of Xpedo six degree float cleats that are in the look style, some pedal washers, an eight mil hex key, manuals, two charging cables, and a wall charger with adapters. Let's jump in straight away with the critical stats on the Favero Asiomas. They weigh in at 300 grams for the set, which puts them a little bit higher than the Ultegra level Shimano pedals. Not at all bad for pedals that have power meters in each side. They have a claimed accuracy of plus or minus 1%. They have Bluetooth and Ant Plus protocols, a rechargeable, 50 hour battery life for each pedal, a Q factor of 54 millimeters, stack height of 10 and a half millimeters, and a two year warranty. Setup and install is an absolute dawdle. They go on like any set of pedals do. An eight mil hex key is all you need. All you have to do when you move them between bikes is do a zero offset and that's it. They're ready to ride. The software setup is very easy as well. You download the Favero Asioma app from your app store and install it on your phone. It took me absolutely no time to connect the app to the pedals, which are woken up just by giving them a spin. And from inside the app, you can do your zero offsetting, update firmware, check your battery life, change your crank arm length, put it into travel mode and a few other tasks and bits and pieces. So let's move on and talk about the pedal design themselves. And this is a really interesting design. There are eight strain gauges, a gyroscope and all the other electronics packed into that little bulbous form around the pedal axle. That whole assembly is then shot full of resin that turns solid to protect everything from being damaged or from water getting in. The main drawback for that is that you can't crack them open to fix anything or adjust anything. So if anything goes wrong, they are gonna go in the bin. Now the important thing to keep in mind here is that all of the electronics are attached to the pedal axle. The pedal body is easily removed, has no electronics in it and can be replaced for about 59 euros. And that's something quite important. As people know, if you tend to crash your bike, your pedals can take a fair whack each time. The Favera Asioma Duos give you the option of just replacing the platform while the electronics are protected by that resin casing that is all around it. I think that's a really smart decision. So let's talk about what it's like to ride with the Favera Asioma Duos. And they are pretty okay pedals. Personally, I've tested a whole bunch of different brands and the ones that I've always gone back to are the standard Shimano styles. I find them to just be the easiest to live with, the easiest to ride with, and importantly, the easiest to walk in because of the cleats. The Asioma Duos use the look style pedal and cleat system and it clips in solidly enough and there is an easily adjustable tension spring on it. So getting in and out is not a problem. One issue I had with the cleats was there's not a huge adjustment adjustment range on them. So I wasn't able to get them into the same position as I would my Shimano cleats, which are more adjustable. You can just slide them around more. The second issue I have with the cleats is that they're super slippery. As a pedal and cleat system then, the Favero Asiomas are just okay. For people who already use and like look style pedals and cleats, you will be totally at home in these. Let's talk power numbers now. And uh, the great thing about pedal based power meters is they're easy to test against other units. So I spent a few rides dual recording one head unit with the pedals and one head unit with my FSA Powerbox Carbon, which is a rebadged Power2Max NG Eco spider based system. 
The power box is highly regarded as quite an accurate meter, so this is a good test to run. And generally speaking, I found the numbers to be very similar across the Faveros and my power box. I would say the Faveros are a few watts higher in general, consistently across individual efforts and across uh, an entire ride. Just that little bit higher, but well within those tolerances of a couple of percent of each other. All the data looked good, so after a few rides, I stop dual recording because I kind of seen that the data lined up with my other units. If you want more information on these sort of data tests then do go and see DC Rainmaker and Shane Miller. They are the authorities on these and there's really no point in me spending too much time on this when they do such a great job of it already. Let's talk about some of the really cool features with the Asioma Duos and being dual sided pedals with a gyroscope in them you get access to all of the cycling dynamics measurements or as Favero calls them instantaneous angular velocity measurements. The sort of short version of this is that the internal gyroscope means that the pedal knows where it is in the rotation so it can line that up against the power you're putting out. That opens up a world of extra geeky power analysis where you can look at things like how long you're spending in and out of the saddle and how much power you're putting out when you are in the saddle versus out of the saddle. You can drill down into your power phase. So what is the pedal angle when you start to apply the power in your stroke and what is the angle when you finish applying the power? Then of course you've got all of the left and right power balance metrics. And this is all very, very nerdy stuff. These are the sort of metrics that the average person doesn't really need. But if you are trying to work very specifically on your pedal stroke or you're trying to work on your power outputs, this can be very valuable. So with good data and plenty of it available, you might expect that the Favera Asioma Duos are really expensive within the pedal meter market. They are in fact the cheapest dual sided pedal power meter you can buy. They're 626 US dollars. The closest competitor is the PowerTap P2 at 680. Then the Garmin Vector 3s are an even $1,000. And the SRM Exact are a horrendous $1,699 US dollars. So yeah, the Favera Asioma Duos are very high performers and they're also the cheapest. They're also far less hideous than the power tabs. Good God, look at those things. You might have detected then that I am a bit of a fan of these pedal power meters, and I am. But that doesn't mean I like everything. The fact that they are a look, pedal and cleat system is a bit of a bummer for me. For a lot of reasons, I prefer Shimano. All of my shoes have been fitted and set up to run Shimano cleats. So switching over would be a pretty big pain in the ass. The second thing I don't like is the Favera Asioma's charge cables. I love the fact that they're rechargeable and I also love the fact that they give you two recharging cables. But these things are just those weird kind of proprietary single use cables. Just over my shoulder there, I have a bundle of cables. There are six in total just to power random bike things. This isn't so much a specific complaint about these pedals, but rather just my ongoing gripe that everybody seems to want to invent their own goddamn cables every time they make an electronic device and that just is starting to really annoy me. I've got too many cables, okay? Too many damn cables. And really, that's kind of it. There's a lot to like about the Favero Asioma Duos. Good data, a lot of data, rechargeable, cheap, universally compatible, easily movable between bikes. They've been on three different bikes since I've had them because they're just so good to move around. If they were Shimano compatible, home run, absolute home run power meter for me personally. For those of you who use look style pedals and cleats and are looking for a pedal based power meter, then these are so good and I really recommend them highly. Good job Favero, really enjoyed using these. But thanks for sticking around guys. If you've got any questions, comments, whatever about the Favero Asioma Duos, drop them in the down below and I will try and respond. There's also a written article on La Vela Cheetah that is a full review as well and I'll link that there. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next time.